So I'm Philip Way, but I go by PJ, so please, if you see me, call me PJ. I am the Director for Information Systems, specifically on infrastructure and platform services. When I came into ITS, it was because somebody gave me a chance. They said, you think you can do this? Let me, let's try. Well, technology really provides that for everybody. You know, um, across the state of Arizona, we have so many people that are underserved and underserved populations. So being here in ITS, I get to work with remarkably talented people that are dedicated to what they're trying to do. We're fixing solutions, not just for our campus, but also for our state. We're really driving to try and uh, provide better access for everybody. And that's, I think that's important, right? Because you, you build opportunity by providing a path. Our days are filled with meetings to try and figure out how do we put project plans together, um, account for budgets, be fiduciary responsible, right? We want to make sure we're doing the best thing with the, the money and the funds that are available to us to improve the life of the students that don't even know we exist sometimes, and that's okay. Um, but I got that from the military, is that you, you don't have to get a thank you. You just have to see that it worked. I, I grew up in New York uh, from a blue collar family. Both my parents worked. It's very humbling, very humbling beginning, but uh, full of positive energy, right? My decision was to join the military was because not knowing what else I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to make a difference and I figured out how do I have to get there. And in 1991, when I was graduating high school, the, the Gulf War had, been, had begun. Um, so I felt compelled to really kind of help out in the situation, right? There was some kind of action that I needed to take and sitting at home, not going to school wasn't really the option. So I, I enlisted, um, joined the Marine Corps, and I was, I was very, very fortunate. I, I spent over 6,000 hours flying. Um, I worked on helicopters. I traveled all over the world. I visited about 36 states and eight countries. Um, I served in combat zones. I've seen what it is to, to have uh, disparate poverty, um, the, the things that you see. It's just, uh, it's hard to put into words, but you know what it is in a, in, when you're in a combat zone and you see um, kids that need help people that need help, and it's, it's tough. It really, I think that really puts a lot of things into perspective about how lucky we are. The best way any community can respect or, or at least honor veterans, really, is to live free, right? Live that you have your own thoughts, your own feelings, be a good person, be a genuine person, and who you are is who you are, it's fine, because they wanna see the pride in America. They, they, they put on the line the only thing that they'll ever have, which is their life. Um, and to have it not valued because of the sacrifice they're trying to create. So I think, I think community awareness, just to recognize that being proud to be who you are, being proud to be an American in general, that's, I think that goes a lot further than any other action or t-shirt or banner or pin. It's really just about seeing people live. It, it made me, a, a hopefully, a better person, a more appreciative person. Um, and that's what, when you ask me once again why I'm here and at this university or about my position. You know, I think my position here isn't just to uh, put the ones and zeros together or make sure that things communicate, but it's really to help build the community with the people that, I, that I'm giving back to, right? I was given opportunities along the ways I worked hard. And now here I am surrounded by these remarkable people and I have to give them those opportunities. I have to figure out how do we make it better for the students.